Welcome. Today we're going to look at Craftist, which is a craft plugin that integrates craft and Todoist. Uh, so you can get your notes or your uh, and your tasks actually between both applications mostly. There's a few caveats, which we will talk about. Before we do that, a few ways you can support the channel. Number one, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Get all my courses included and discounts on coaching. Number two, uh, take my courses curtismichael.ca slash education. Just pick a course, take it. That'd be helpful. Uh, or if you're on Skillshare already, links below to my courses on Skillshare. Buckle up, let's look at Craftist. Now, to get this set up, one of the first things we have to do is actually get an API key. So if we hit uh, command comma, go to our preferences, go to integrations, you can see our API token is down here. Clearly I'm gonna blank this out so you can't see my API key because I don't want you to be adding stuff to my family to do list. You copy that. And then you're gonna come into uh, any note really. We'll just pick this note that was a demo. Open up our developer menu and we hit Craftist. Now, for me now, it's gonna show all these items here. But what it should show you to start is a field just like this to put in your API token. You'll paste that in here, hit set token, and then in a few seconds, it will update and give you the buttons you see on my screen. So create task from selection, cross link link notes, all that stuff will show up for you. To start, let's open up Todoist and just make sure that I have some tasks set for today. I do, don't I? Yep, write Obsidian video, write Craftist script. Those are good, overdue, they're due today. Let's come over to a daily note. And let's just say create day, today's daily note and click inside. I'm gonna hit my developer menu and I'm going to import today's tasks. did nothing because they're overdue. So it will not, as we've seen, do overdue tasks. Let's set them to today and see if this fixes that issue. Like I said, there's a few caveats with it that just don't work. There you go, so now they're in. So the nice thing that this does is we can go back to our Todoist task and we'll open it. All right, if I went back to my inbox or even to stuff to sell, I can hit Todoist task, it should open it. It's not opening it for us. So there's another issue to do us task. It's opening to do us for us, but not the actual task. We'll open the web view. I'm not signed into to do us. So unlock one password. It did open it up for me. So in the web view, it does open it. In the to do uh, desktop view, it does not open the task you want which is one of the caveats with Craftist. Pretty good, few issues, and I know actually know I'll talk about this. Some of them are not the developer's fault, they just can't really do it. So now, how about resolving tasks? If I resolve here, I'm gonna have to come back over to my developer menu, and I'm going to have to sync task states. And come back over here, and we should have, it's gone, right? That's good. Now, one thing that, again, another gotcha, if I, unresolve this, I come back here, and sync task states, it will still always be resolved. So it takes a resolve task as the final state of the task. It will not unresolve a task in, or in Todoist for you. It always takes a resolve task as the final state of the task. Now, what about managing projects? I go back to my all documents, I come into stuff to sell. So this is actually already linked to a task, and we can do that by going in here, and we would link note to project, We'd pick the project we want, right? Stuff to sell, it's already actually linked. And now this note is linked to that task, right? I can go into the, let me actually check. Stuff to sell, am I on the stuff to sell already? I'm on today. Oh, it did open stuff to sell, so that's nice. Takes me right over to the item and let's add, um, what else should I sell? That I, I had case, cool. And then we can come back in here and we can import tasks from linked project. So again, here's another thing. Uh, it has double imported them. So it'll import them again, not knowing that they are resolved. So let's see, does, if I resolve this old version, sync task states, does it resolve it? it? Does not. So if I resolve this one though, oh, so think sync task states, note it did actually resolve the subtask. That was gonna be my next thing. If I import tasks from project, camera messenger is resolved now. So if you do a subtask, subtask, 
this is a sub task for iPad case. And so we have another issue, sync task states. All right, some tasks import how good. But let's actually kill all of these again and import task states. A subtask for the iPad. Something I'd love to see here is that this would be indented. That would be better. Then I know it's a subtask. Uh, and if I resolve and then come back in here, sync task states, it doesn't resolve on this end. If I unresolve, oh, it did. Maybe I'm just being too fast now. So it is resolving on this end. And well, if I sync task states, it does resolve here as well. This feels like an update. I'm actually a week behind my recording schedule because I could not record last week due to uh, dental issues. Now, another thing we can do in here is we can add, uh, this is something cool to sell and I can highlight it and come in here and I can create tasks from selection. I created a task from that block. It's gonna take me to the Todoist task. Oh, and we can just open to do ask, right? This is something cool to sell. It put it in my project. Nice as well. These are all really good things, really good ways that you can integrate Todoist and your uh, craft setup. I think specifically with the daily note one, I really like that one. Although I wish it would pull in overdue tasks, even give it a header, say these tasks are overdue. Um, just so that you know, so you have them every day. That would be nice. Now, one other thing it doesn't do is it doesn't link, uh, like if I have a note in here with my wife, uh, cause we do share craft together for home projects and we also share Todoist, it doesn't let us both have a link in craft that goes to Todoist. I've talked to the developer about this. He says it's just not easy. It's not, it's not really a good way to do it. It's a limitation of the APIs that are available and I'm not sure on which end, but that would be lovely to see. Uh, otherwise pulling in your daily note and then pulling in all your, your tasks for the day can be another really good option to just have everything in one spot on Todoist or in Craft as you're working for the day, taking more notes, and then you can resolve them in Craft, sync it at the end of the day, and you're good to go. I'd also love to see, actually, though, uh, that it just synced automatically. I'm not sure what the API state for that is, if it's possible, if it's not possible, or what. Currently, it doesn't work. No idea why. That's Craftist for Craft Todoist integration. I think it's good. I think the Craft extensions are showing a lot of promise. I'm excited about them. I'll keep covering them. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube will let you know something happened and turn off your notifications because you don't actually want them. Uh, otherwise, support the channel. Become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership. Become a, or take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education or check out uh, coaching. I also have some coaching available. There'll be a link to coaching uh, down below. I mean, my next cohort closes pretty soon. So if you want to get in on some coaching on how to do your own Zettelkasten system, how to set it up and how to produce something from it, join me for coaching. Have a good one.